child lived there. There were no toys. I would say, doesn't Richard go down the street to the park and play with his friends? Well, I found out he had no friends. The father would not allow him out of the house. It wouldn't take much to realize that there was something fishy going on. Andrak, also known as Little Hercules, is 11 years old. Since the age of six, he has been described pound for pound as the world's strongest human being. Starring in celebrity bodybuilding events, making dozens of TV appearances, and even launching his own nutritional supplement, Richard's incredible physique has attracted global attention. He even has a website fan base, which is monitored by his mother. As Richard has a lot of fans who had to um, upload his website to do more pictures, new videos, and news whenever he appeared or about his new movie and uh, to make his fans excited. And I've got a lot of them. I've got so many emails that they ask what is new pictures and like here. Hi Richard Sana, can you send me more if you're showing your super rock body? Please call me on my cell phone. <laughs> While designed to show off Richard's accomplishments and keep his fans up to date, the photos on his website could attract unwanted attention. It was at the first place concerning about people asking Richard's pictures. There is some sick people sometimes they ask, but in a way they ask, you already know it's wrong. But there are also those who learn about Richard from the website and are genuinely inspired. His influence casts a wide net and attracts some quirky fans. This couple has driven over 2,000 miles to camp out in front of Richard's house for a chance to meet him. When we came to meet Richard, it was really interesting to see the change that occurred with Steve. I've been with Steve for many, many years, and Steve can be painfully shy at times. And when he was around Richard, he became much more gregarious and outgoing. I was kind of in a rut. I didn't do a whole lot but work. and. Um, I've always been very shy, but since I found out about Richard, it's brought me out of my shell, it's made me a lot more outgoing, and I have, I've lost about 25 pounds. We were both influenced by Richard's uh, willingness to stick with the training and the way he eats, and we're both now feeling that we can go back and lose weight and get in shape. If he can do this, I can do this. And Steve, the same way, we were thinking, you know, we're going to go home and we're going to make changes. And if for no other reason, but to be able to send Richard a photo and say, hey, look, you know, we did this and you helped us do this. Richard may be motivating others to get in shape, but with production starting on his movie trailer in just a week, the pressure is on for him to do the same. His personal trainer, Jay, is working with him twice a day, five times a week. One, the priority for Richard is to get him in the shape he needs to get in with this movie. Because when your physique is your livelihood, he's a great actor, he's got lots of talent. But like Arnold, he needed a physique to get where he's going. Everybody looks at the guy, not at his acting, they're looking at his physique. Come on, Richard, don't sink too low, we're nearly done. Lunch break is over, let's go. Yeah, that's set, pick it up. One, two. Free, faster. You don't want to do another set, do you? I understand when he gets uh, a little um, frustrated. I understand that because um, he wants me to keep going. It's just that the point is, it's just when I get tired, I just need a quick breath and I'll just go on. But he really likes to push. Go. He just wants me to get back in shape. That's what I want to. Look where your feet are. Okay, lift them. I've told you, positive and negative, okay? Out. In six. Although Jay's training program Two, is relentless, three, four, it's nothing compared to what Richard had to endure when his father trained him. I know of Richard's father through conversations I've had with Richard. You know, he's disclosed certain things to me, that his father was a, a, a very, very um, strong-minded, very tough person um, that would have him doing six or seven hours consistently kicking a bag. Some of the things he would tell me, my dad, he was upset when he got up. Why was that, Rich? Oh, he, you know, he made me do 2,000 push-ups, you know. And if I didn't do them, he'd go out and I'd have to do another 2,000. So it, that was his way of training. I've seen a lot of parents push their children. I was involved since I was very young, and my parents had me in dancing, gymnastics, piano, twirling, beauty pageants, everything. My mom had me every, everywhere, piano, everything. And 
she she made me practice she made me do everything but she didn't push me to the point where if I didn't want to do it it didn't seem like Pablo was pushing Richard because Richard really seemed like he was enjoying everything around us not only were there concerns about Pavel's training methods there were also questions being raised about Richard's diet the leaner Richard's body became the more defined his muscles looked some in the medical community supported the idea that Richard was being fed steroids. Having seen footage of the boy at age six, it would be highly unlikely that anyone could achieve that type of physique without artificial enhancement. There have been no long-term controlled studies with children taking anabolic steroids because obviously it would be unethical to do such studies. But one thing we do know is that you need testosterone to build muscle. And whether that's coming from natural or it's coming from the store, you really need some testosterone on board. While there's certainly debate as to what age testosterone can kick in, whether it's 10, 12, 13, some people mature late, it's certainly not at six. Could Richard actually be older than his family claimed? As the public scrutiny intensified, Richard was forced to take a steroid test and tests to determine his true age. I had three tests on drugs and one test on bone age. And I passed them all. It's just perfect. When people say that I take drugs and assume that I take drugs, I'm upset about that. They assume that I take drugs because they don't know another way how I can train to get my body at such a young age. Despite Richard passing the test, Frank says he still had reservations about the mystery powder Richard was being fed. He told our producers that he decided to take extreme measures to find out what was in it. During a promotional trip to New York City, he confronted the only man who had the answer. I told the father, when we get back to Los Angeles, I want you to take a polygraph test. There's some specific questions I want to ask you, and I need to get to the bottom of this. And he said, uh, Richard can do the polygraph test and you can ask him. And I said, no, because Richard has no idea what he's taking. He has no idea what you're giving him. You just tell him to eat this and take this and he does what he's told. You know what this stuff is and we need to find out what it is. And if I still at that point feel that you're not being honest, just as fast as I created little Hercules, I'm going to put a stop to it. And the father politely told me, if you do any of the stuff that you say you're going to do, I will kill you. Unable to clarify what Richard may or may not have been being fed, and unable to continue working with Pavel, Frank and Sherry were forced to distance themselves from little Hercules. Just as I had Richard's career booming, and within a week's period, I put a stop to every bit of it. Richard's career began to unravel just as fast as it had been made. With Pavel unemployed and Richard the only breadwinner, the family began to feel serious financial pressure. According to Richard's mother, Lena, Pavel reacted by drinking heavily and began taking his anger out on his family. Anything could make my husband angry. Even if he never drank before, he just started to drink like two years ago, but before it could, could be such a small thing. And so he'd come home and he would get his anger on somebody else's shoulder, me or children. Over the years it did get worse and worse. Uh, worst situation was my husband broke my wrist and broke my nose. And then I decided that enough is enough. I had to do something to protect me and my children from him. On the 1st of April, 2003, Pavel threatened to take the lives of his wife and two children. But his violent streak was to come to an abrupt end, thanks to the quick thinking of his 10-year-old son. Srishet was very, very smart to call police and tell them to come very quiet without any sirens or lights because he knew his dad. It could be dangerous. My son saved my life, and um, police came and they took my husband away. Following a plea bargain, Pavel Sandrak was convicted of assaulting his wife and was sentenced to three years in a state prison. 
the career of little Hercules appeared to be over. <laughs>